Which of these groups of kids do you think will do better at school? The boys and girls who study together or the kids who go to school with just their own gender? I prefer to go to a single set school so girls don't have to worry about impressing boys or trying to look pretty in front of them. Another good thing is that you can play whatever your sports you want, like you can play football or rugby. Uh, I think it's better to go to a co-ed school. Um, it's, it's more natural, like it's interacting with the opposite sex and that's important when you grow up and you have to go to uni and stuff, like boys are going to be everywhere. It's going to be in a co-ed school because not only you got to socialise with people after school but it's cool to get to know them, you get more opinions about work, study, um, social life, like when you talk to girls you can get an understanding of what they might be feeling about certain issues. It's an issue that's been studied and debated for years. For a long time, people have argued that boys and girls' brains function so differently that they should be taught in different classrooms. But researchers in the US now say their research does not support those claims. In fact, they think separating boys and girls increases gender stereotyping, like making boys more aggressive and girls more obsessed with their looks. It's certainly not a view everyone agrees with though. Well, I'm a passionate believer in girls' schools. I think that for girls, it's a wonderful environment to learn in because girls get to be the leaders, they get to be take all the main parts in performances. Also, there are no subjects that are seen as boys' subjects or girls' subjects. Advocates of single-sex schools say kids concentrate better if they're not distracted by the opposite sex. They can be nurtured better by their teachers and they'll feel more comfortable to be themselves. At our swimming carnival, everybody's in the water. No one's worried about how they're looking in bathers or any of those sorts of things. So how does that argument go down at a co-ed school? I think uh, one of the greatest advantages is, is you actually get a really nice tone in the school with, with both boys and girls together. Unlike perhaps a, a, a boys' school where they might be very macho and raucous, um, you tend to get boys that calm down and, and, and the girls the same. Um, I think they learn how to interact with each other. Educators like Paul support co-ed schools because they reflect real life. That might make kids better socialised and prepared for life after school. Certainly the girls bring out the, the more uh, um, out there sort of side of the boys, so they're happy to dress up, and, and which they probably wouldn't do if it was just boys, which is fantastic. Um, and I think the boys can probably calm down the girls a little bit in that, in that sense as well. So, uh, you know, it's, it's good. Go ahead, it's good. But at the end of the day, every kid is different. So no one can really say that all kids should go to single sex or all kids should go to co-ed schools. I think it's up to families to decide and it's up to individual girls and I would hate to have one size fits all for everybody. Um, different families have different beliefs and there are some fantastic co-educational schools, many, and so it really is up to families to decide what fits them best. No matter where you go to school or what kind of school you think works best, it'll probably always make an interesting debating subject.